This version of the dome automation system is now starting to work quite well. Um, the idea is that we use an infrared detector which is placed on the end of the telescope uh, so that when it's pointing out of the dome aperture there, nothing happens. But as the telescope moves eventually the edge of the dome aperture will obscure the infrared sensor. This will generate a little signal which activates the motor turning the pulley wheel here which runs against a timing belt that goes right the way around the observatory. Um, now there is a bracket here which we can use to have a quick release system so that if I pull this thus I can move the dome by hand right the way around to save wear and tear on the motor but to engage it we simply pull this spring-loaded bracket over the edge there and the belt and pulley wheel are now engaged. Next exercise, turn on the electronics which will eventually be in a nice little box. Uh, it's dangling at the moment because that is in experimental stage. Now this is the infrared detector. As you can see waving it about it points at things and things start to happen. We'll try and see if we can show how that works. Let's imagine that the dome is now starting to obscure. The detector. And away we go. If it's just a tiny little touch, it'll move just an inch or two. Uh, but if the dome is totally obscuring it for some length of time, then it will rotate right away. Now, the belt wrapped around the inside of the observatory dome has a small gap because obviously luck had it that I did not have exactly the right number of teeth on the belt to perfectly fit the circumference of the dome. Um, so there's a little tiny gap there. Uh, fortunately it seems to traverse that quite nicely. So let's see if that works here. Okay, that test went perfectly well. We'll try it again, on with the electronics, and let's do this in little stages. Which is what would probably happen in real conditions. And we can see there that it all goes very nicely. It might be interesting just to try a run right the way around the entire circumference of the dome. And you should find now here it comes having rotated in full 360 degrees. And off. So that seems to be working extremely well. Right, this is a view from outside the dome. So we'll set the dome rotating continuously just to see how that looks from outside. I've got the sensor on a long cable which will eventually mean I have to stop, but uh, we might just try that again. Right, have another little test, see how that goes. That seems to be reasonably fast enough for slewing. It would only take about a minute to do 
about 60, 70 degrees, so I, I don't think it really needs to be slewed much faster. And stop. 